I'm going to show you what we're working on for math this week. We are going to understand length measurement. That means that we are going to measure how long or how tall things are. Let me show you a couple of examples. Let's say I would like to measure how long this highlighter is. I'm going to use cubes to measure my highlighter. So what I want to do is line up the end of my cubes and the end of my highlighter Ooh, it looks like almost a perfect match there. And I can see that this highlighter is one, two, three, four, five, six cubes long. What if I want to use those same cubes to measure my box of crayons? I can measure how tall the box of crayons is. I'm going to line it up, the cubes in the same spot as the bottom of my crayon box. I can see that my cubes are a little bit taller than my crayons, so I'm going to take one away. There we go. Now I can see that this crayon box is one, two, three, four, five cubes tall. Let's take a look at the board for another example. I want to measure how long this marker is. I'm going to use paper clips instead of cubes this time. So I want to know how many paper clips long my marker is. I'm going to line up the edge of the marker with the edge of the paper clip. So that's this blue line. I'm going to put the marker edge and the paper clip edge in the same spot. And then I'm going to line up paper clips along the marker until I can see how long it is. Here are two things you do not want to do when you're measuring. One, you do not want to leave any gaps. Gaps are spaces in between. So my paper clips need to be right next to each other so I can measure correctly. The other thing I do not want to do is overlap the paper clips. That means that I have one on top of another one on top of another one. No, no. So I have my paper clips laid out nice and neatly next to each other and I can see that there are, let's count them and we'll see how long my marker is. One, two, three, four, five paper clips long. So that is how we measure and that's what we're working on this week. I will see you in class and we will practice measuring some things in our math books and we'll look at some things that we have for our supplies that we can measure. See you later.